Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we'll be taking a look at how you can use the decorator pattern in TypeScript. Just one remark before we start. The decorator pattern has nothing to do with the decorators feature in TypeScript. It's a bit confusing but decorators in TypeScript are basically like annotations in Java. In this video we will discuss the pattern and not the feature. A decorator pattern is useful for when you want to allow objects to have different options. I'll explain with an example. Let's assume that you're in charge of writing the ordering software for Tesla cars. A customer has to choose between either the Model S or the Model X, nothing too fancy, but these cars have many different options that you can choose. A customer might pick the improved autopilot or the smart air suspension, or maybe both. Every option has a different effect on the price. In this example, the options that Tesla give you decorate your car, hence the name decorator pattern. You basically take a base class, say the Model S, instantiate it and then wrap many options around it. This is much better than giving your Model S class a list of properties like has smart air suspension and then calculating the total price by checking if these properties are set to true. So let's dive into the code and take a look at how you can develop such a system with the decorator pattern. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio Code, ready to show you how the decorator pattern actually works. So I've created two classes, the Model S and the Model X class, and both of these have a description and they have a method cost, which returns the base cost of this card. So the Model S costs $73,000, while the Model X costs $77,000. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create an abstract class car that both of these classes will extend. So let's start by creating an abstract class car. Uh, so we're creating an abstract class here because there should be no instance of car. There should only be an instance of the Model S or the Model X, never just a generic car. Now this class will have a description as both of these cars already have, which is of type string. It should also have a method get description, which should return a string. And the method will look like this, return this.description, pretty simple. And we will also create an abstract, an abstract method cost that will return a number. So now I'm gonna to go to the model S and say that this extends the car class and I'm gonna do the same for the model X and say that it also extends the car class. Okay, so next up we will define a class for all of our options that we can choose for our Model S and our Model X. For example, we might choose the Enhanced Autopilot. So for this I'm going to create a new abstract class and I'm going to call this class uh, Car Options. And I'm going to say that this extends car. This will be very important later on. So a car option will decorate a car. So we're going to keep a reference to the car that we decorate. We're going to call that decorated car. And I'm also going to say that this should override the get description method, which returns a string. And it should override the cost method, which should return a number. Okay, so that's our class for car options. Now let's create an actual car option. So let's create a class, let's say Enhanced Autopilot. That's one of the options that we want to offer uh, on our Teslas. And we're gonna say that this extends car options. And Visual Studio Code will complain now. It will say that I need to implement some elements of car options here. So I'm gonna click on that and it will generate uh, the methods that I need to override. So the first one that I have to override is get description. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to say, well, we're going to return uh, the description of the car that we decorate. And then we're going to append uh, the name of our options. So we're going to say enhanced autopilot. Okay. Now we're going to do the same for the cost here. We're going to say that the cost of this option equals the cost of the decorated car plus the cost of this option. So for example, we're going to charge $5,000 for the enhanced autopilot. Now there's one more thing missing. We need to fill in this decorated car property. So I'm going to make 
uh, a constructor. And this constructor will receive uh, a car, which will be of type car. And we're just going to say this dot decorated car equals car. And of course, we also have to call super. Okay, so that's it. When we create a new enhanced autopilot option, we're going to give it an instance of car, which could be a model S or a model X. And then when we ask the cost of this option, we're just going to take the model S or the model X that we're decorating, we're going to take that cost and add $5,000 to it. So let's make another one, I'm going to copy and paste this class here. And let's say we also want to offer people rear facing seats. So I'm going to add rear facing seats here. We're going to keep the decorated car, we're going to keep the constructor, we're going to keep the description. But now we're going to change it, we're going to say, rear facing seats, because that's what this option is all about. And we're going to charge $4,000 for the rear facing seats. So how do you now use this decorator pattern? Well, we're going to start by creating uh, an instance of a Tesla. So I'm going to say my Tesla equals a new model S. And now I'm going to say my Tesla equals a option, for example, new, let's say I want uh, the rear facing seats, rear facing seats. And I'm going to pass along my Tesla so that it can decorate my car. So let's now take a look at what it looks like. If we run this, we're going to say console log my Tesla dot cost. And we're going to log the description of my Tesla, get description. So let's open up the terminal now. Oops. And let's run the, comp the TypeScript compiler on this. And let's also run it in node at the same time. There we go. All right, so here we can see that my Tesla will cost $77,000. That will be the Model S with rear facing seats. So that seems about right. Our Model S costs $73,000 plus the $4,000 for the rear facing seats gives us $77,000. Now let's say the customer also wants another option. Let's say he wants the enhanced autopilot. Well, all we have to do is say my Tesla equals new autopilot, new enhanced autopilot, I'm sorry, and give it again my Tesla so we can wrap around that object. And now if I run it again, our price is bumped up to 82,000 and the description of our car is now Model S with rear facing seats and enhanced autopilot. So that's a simple example of how you can use the decorator pattern to decorate classes in TypeScript. Now I just want to end the video by showing you the UML diagram of the decorator pattern. Here we have four components. We have two abstract classes. The first abstract class is called component and it has an operation. In my example, this was the abstract car class with the operation cost. We also have the abstract decorator class. In my example, this was the abstract class car options. Then we have concrete classes for both of these. So in my example, the concrete components were model S and model X and the concrete components for the decorator were the rear facing seats and the enhanced autopilot. As you can see in this diagram, the decorator also keeps a reference to the component that it is decorating and it also overrides the same operation. So that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss new videos. And if you want to learn more about design patterns in TypeScript, check out the rest of the videos in this series.